remember going up to the mountains to pray and I had something deep on my heart that I needed to ask the Lord. And the mountains is a place I love to hike up when I wanna be alone with the Lord, when I want to just worship him and praise him and really think and let go of the world because in this place, there's no phone service. <laughs> but I remember just hiking up to the top of the mountain to the spot where I sit. And although God had did a miracle for me, although God had eliminated over 16,000 in back rent that somebody paid for me, although God had did that miracle, it still did not prevent me from being evicted. So I needed to go up to the mountain. I needed to ask God because I was two days away from being put out my apartment. I needed to ask him, what is it that I'm supposed to do? What is your strategy in this God? What is it that you need me to do that I can stop all of this from happening? So I went up to the mountain, mind you, it's also my birthday. <laughs> and I just hiked up there and I'm worshiping, I'm praising God and I'm asking him, Lord, what do I do? What do I do to stop all of this? And he simply said, go through it. I need you to walk through it. I need you to go through it. And I remember just being up there worshiping him. And I had this peace that came over me and I said, okay, Lord, it doesn't matter what I go through. As long as you are with me, I will walk through it. I will go through it. Two days later, I found myself packing up all my belongings, packing everything up, me, my son, I had a dog at the time, packed us all up, put us in the car. And the apartment people said, if you give us the keys before we have to call the sheriff, I will let you go. And so they let me go. And I had no eviction on my record, but that still did not stop the process. So I dropped my son off at school and I remember just being in my car and I drove to a place and I just rested and I slept and I said, all right, Lord, if this is where you want me to be. This is where I will be. And I took a nap. I woke back up and I realized I was still there. <laughs> so I was like, OK, Lord, I got about a few hours. So I go get my son. I said, all right, this is it. I will still continue to do what you've asked me to do. I will still continue to encourage others. I will still continue the ministry that you have placed on my heart. And I remember just sitting there, just confident in him, truly confident that all things will work together for good. And I remember receiving a phone call and someone asked me, where are you? I said, I'm in my car. They said, when are you supposed to get out your apartment? When are you supposed to leave? I've never spoken to this person before. And I said, well, I've actually been evicted this morning. And they said, what do you mean? What, what's happening? I said, I'm in my car. I dropped my son off at school and I'm in my car. And they said, hold on. And they made a few phone calls and they called me back and they said, ma'am, you won't have to sleep in your car tonight. You won't have to do that. She said, when you get off, get your son. I want you to come here. We're gonna find a place for you to stay. And that started my journey of me living in a hotel, basically. They paid for a hotel. I spent about six months or so in a hotel. And it was about six plus months. And it changed my life. It shifted everything within my life. It opened my eyes to many things. I had encounters. I had many things I went through. Prayers were answered in ways that I did not want to go through things, but yet God was answering prayers that I prayed. But I saw God's hand in it all. I would get on my knees and despite everything that I was going through, I would still thank him for the pain. I would still thank him for the things that I had to endure, the things that I would see in that place, the things that I would fight. It was truly amazing what God was doing for me. And one thing I can say is I never let go of growing with God. <laughs> because even in that place, I was still growing with him. God put something on my heart to build, to create, and I kept it. I desired nothing but to fulfill the things that God gave me to do. I desired nothing but to make sure that I was completing my assignment that he gave me that I was bringing souls to Jesus, that he would choose me, choose my story, choose what I've gone through to help and encourage others. I'm truly grateful because it was not what I did. It was not what I did wrong or what I did right, but it was truly his grace. He chose me. 
When I wanted to run, I couldn't run. His spirit was in me. His spirit desired more, more of Jesus, more. I could not run from everything that was placed on my heart. The desires that he placed in me, I could not run from them. Mm, God is good. I encourage anyone who might be going through anything, who might need encouragement, who might want to resonate with my stories, who might want to understand what I went through so that they can get strategy and direction and allow the Spirit of God to speak to them about their own situation, to keep watching, to stay tuned, because more is coming from me, from my story, and what God wants to speak through me to his people. This is going to be more of growing with God. And I pray that you stay tuned and I pray that you feel the love of Christ through these videos in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless.